you as an organization have paid scant regard to the elected representatives of the Senate, the Congress, and indeed my parliament. May I politely point out the wonderful people of America have voted in office their elected representatives in the Congress and the Senate, and indeed a new president. In my country, we are nearing a general election. These are the people's choices. It is an act of crass stupidity to believe the elected representatives of the greatest nation on earth don't matter. We will inform them later, at our convenience, when we are ready, when it suits us. They do not need to know now. Well, people of this organization, may I, Adrian Hicks, formally request that your organization start the program of officially announcing to the world of your nation's involvement with our extraterrestrial neighbors by starting with, in the first instant, instance, your own nation's and my nation's elected politicians. This, the most important first step of any such program. I wish to say eight specific words to you. I implore, I plead, I beg, Simply, please, please inform the elected politicians of your great nation and mine as to where you're at with your nation's greatest undertaking. Earlier in my speech, I said it is interesting that the greatest challenge this satellite government has yet to face has yet to happen. This until now, this until this moment in time. This challenge will not be from any one person, I include myself, or any one political group or party. But it will be from the ordinary American citizen and the ordinary British citizen. But, you know, these citizens fall into two very distinct categories. The first category is those who have lived and fought for our nations in the Second World War. Also in this category, I include all who have served in our nation's armed forces and services since 1939, up until this very moment. The second category is those who have not. It is the former who will be your harshest judges. For this generation and these people not only know the cost of everything, they also know the value of everything. Indeed, the very cost of this generation and these people in life and blood for the very cause of democracy and freedom is totally immeasurable. It is they who will be watching you with eagle eyes. For this generation has not yet completely passed over. And yet still, the most important first step of any program to inform our world of our nation's involvement with our extraterrestrial neighbors has not happened. That of formally announcing to our elected politicians in the Senate, the Congress, and my parliament has not happened. Up until this moment of time, I have always been an advocate of gradual disclosure. But because the timetable is so fatally flawed, Indeed, there has been a point of time reached where the very question of whether you are for democracy or against democracy has actually now emerged. When the humblest elected councillor is asking this question on behalf of his elected colleagues, imagine when the good citizens of our nation, nations ask this very same question. Would you still tell your children Father Christmas exists at the age of nine, coming up to ten? We as Liberal Democrats exist to build and safeguard a fair, free and open society in which we seek to balance the fundamental values of liberty, equality and community and in which no one shall be enslaved by poverty, ignorance or conformity. I should like to repeat, no one should be enslaved by ignorance, especially my elected colleagues in the Senate, the Congress and my parliament. Majestic, or should I perhaps call it US Space Command, is an incredible organisation. But you have to decide whether you have achieved enough before not only becoming visible, the word I am looking for here is accountable. For clearly, once it has been formally established that contact hasn't taken place, not only will things have changed for mankind, for every citizen in our world, things will have changed completely for US Space Command. There will be no going back. The entire world's eyes will be watching. The responsibility of representing mankind is awesome enough in itself. To do so as an unelected organisation is an even bigger burden. There must be no doubt left at all 
that you are totally for democracy. I believe the organization and the people of Majestic, now the United States, the US Space Command, have served our world and the United States to the best of their ability. In fact, I would describe them and their efforts to date as incredible. But again, I wish to voice my concern to you. Should the timetable be wrong, which I believe it is, the wonderful people of our two respected nations, Great Britain and the United States, also the elected politicians of both nations, will be deemed together and responsible for misleading and deceiving the entire world. Every nation and all of mankind concerning this matter, the consequences to the people of our two nations could be immeasurable. We could end up being viewed by mankind as the scum of the earth, the arch deceivers. These are the stark and very real realities of the current situation. This because the unelected organization did not get the timetable right through lack of judgment. Gentlemen and ladies of this organization, the time has come that the elected be informed of the era that we are now in. I do not think this request to be unreasonable what is very clearly at stake here. The ramifications of getting this timetable wrong to our peoples and our elected politicians who are not in the loop would be as quick as shit going through a goose. On behalf of the ordinary citizens of my country and the United States, we must never be perceived to be the scum of the earth, the arch deceivers. I repeat, we must never be perceived to be the scum of the earth, the arch deceivers. But the most important thing for me, though, is that the people of Majestic, now US Space Command, who have done a phenomenal job for our world, one only has to look back at the last 40 years to see how we as a world have progressed, to realize what an incredible job they have achieved. We are now into the next industrial revolution, that of nanotechnology, a revolution that in the next 40 years will literally transform our world. This again, due to majestic guidance. These people who have served our world equally must never be perceived to be the traitors of mankind. For in reality, they are the unknown heroes of our world the modern-day Davy Crockett's. That is why the timetable is so very important. To those of you who have listened to my open speech, who have come to realize where we are at in our history, but who perhaps are saying, why us? Why me? The answer is, because we're here, and it's now, and it's time. This is one patriot talking to the patriots of US Space Command. Please hear me. I'm yours respectfully, Adrian.